assault and batteries, but my trunk stay ever ready. Yeah. Assault and battery, if you scared, you never ready. Yeah. All right, today's video is going to be a comparison video where I'm going to compare the infamous WrestleMania 30 trip from four years ago to the uh, Click 34 trip, which is uh, crazy to believe uh, one month ago. Today's May 1st and uh, April 4th was the uh, departure day for us. So one month removed from Click 34 and um, I'm sure you've seen all the day in the life videos of mine, whether it be mine or someone else's, but it was a great time. And uh, Miguel, I think, is the only one who hasn't uploaded his. Ironically enough, he is the one who has, I would say, the most uh, the most craziest footage when it comes to the actual Bourbon Street shenanigans that happened on that uh, Monday night. So hopefully he uploads it uh, by the time, you know, 2020 comes around. The trip, I enjoyed a lot. You know, I, I can't go, I can't say that enough. It was one of the more memorable WrestleMania trips that I'd ever been on. But a lot of things set that trip apart from WrestleMania 30 and a lot of it was very similar so things that changed I guess I'll talk about was the group that we were in uh, WrestleMania 30 was uh, myself Justin Miguel Steve this year was more of myself Griff Justin Ryan Falcone Luke uh, uh, Lorenzo Bros and you had a son in there so as you can tell the group is almost doubled and it was good because you weren't hanging around the same people uh, for a whole week, you know, there was a couple days. There was, I think there was a day or two I didn't see the Lorenzo Bros at all. Then again, there were times where even Justin and I, even though we were staying in the same room, uh, I believe it was on the Friday, we were just doing our own thing. Uh, you know, I did WrestleCon. He didn't do WrestleCon. He did. Uh, I don't know what he did Friday, uh, but then again, we sat in different places for NXT and. He went to ROH. Even people that I was literally sleeping in the bed next to, we weren't doing the same stuff all the time. So it's a good thing for me where I got to kind of interact with people that I normally wouldn't even go to shows with. Uh, for example, Ryan Falcone. But then obviously WrestleMania was where everyone kind of came together and uh, the usual group was formed there. Group wise, I was I didn't mind it at all. I, you know, I kind of prefer uh, the bigger group where I guess some days you split off with some guys and some days you split off with other guys. So in future uh, future things, I, I would definitely recommend, at least for myself, to uh, continue doing that. Where, you know, a couple days you just hang out with this person and go to shows with him, but maybe not go to other shows and go with someone else. Another big thing that makes uh, a WrestleMania trip complete is uh, the wrestlers you meet and uh, comparing WrestleMania 30 to 34. Uh, 30 was highlighted, obviously, by meeting Stone Cold Steve Austin at the airport. And uh, Batista, my favorite, my top two favorite wrestlers of all time. I met them both at WrestleMania 30. Uh, the Austin thing was really more of a, hey, like, there he is, just take a quick picture. I was shaking my boots at that time. There was so much I wanted to tell him. But uh, because of the circumstances we were in, it was more of just like, a, just get your picture just to say you got it and uh, just kind of move on. Where Batista, I had that exact thing I just said where I had so much to say to him. And another one of those things where it was a premium VIP experience where the security guards told Batista like, oh, let's hurry up. We got to hurry it up. But, you know, Big Dave wanted to hear, hear his biggest fan story from uh, 2009. I had a story for him and he literally just stopped in the middle of his autograph to like listen to my story as the security guards tell him to hurry up. And he's just like, you know, let's let him finish the story. Things like that. Like, I remember that like it was yesterday. That was four years ago. So... The, those were the top two highlights for me for WrestleMania 30 and then 34 obviously was Jinder Mahal and uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin again where both of them uh, were great experiences and that's the one thing I'm kind of grateful for where the, I've only had one bad experience from a wrestler that I had so much like respect for and that being Shawn Benjamin uh, back in like 2011. Every wrestler that I have a great amount of respect for they're on my top tier favorites of all time. They've always been 110% amazing with me from Ultimate Warrior to Shawn Michaels to uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Jinder Mahal, Batista. So it's, 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 I'm very, very thankful for that because I know there's guys who've met people like Punk or whoever else and they've been uh, assholes to them. Another thing is uh, the wrestling compared to non-wrestling. Uh, I don't really remember too much non-wrestling stuff we did for WrestleMania 30. I'm pretty sure it was a lot of it was, and I, I was with Jade also, so it was um, one of those things where she wanted to do her own thing, like just me and her hang out and then I would go off with the group, which I talked about in the last video where it's like I kind of either do everything together or just like don't do anything at all and I guess you learn as the trip goes on but one thing I didn't get to do which I really wanted to do was the alligator tours so hoping New Orleans is uh, another trip in the very near future for me the alligator swamp tours is on the top of the list of things to do for WrestleMania 30 it was more uh, me and me and her just going on little walks on Bourbon Street or pretty much what Miguel did 
just not to the extreme that he did it in because I think every day he did something uh, very touristy where I think we just had like a day and a half of uh not even a day like an hour of each day just to like do whatever we wanted which leads me to bourbon street it was um that was a crazy experience both both times wrestlemania 30 was uh that infamous sunday after mania everyone's in shock we just from the undertaker losing and then daniel bryan winning obviously everyone went to bourbon street and that was when actually the first big like meeting of the the entire ywc happened it was um i couldn't even tell you how many guys were in that in that group but that group picture we have is pretty much all of us there we're all on bourbon street it was uh, at least like 15 of us, and which ended up being the, almost the same amount as uh, this past uh, past WrestleMania a month ago. Both times were highlighted by their own things, but uh, I, I think just if you guys went on Bourbon Street, if you went to WrestleMania and had a chance to go, I think that's where the most memorable moments come from the entire trip. Just uh, everyone having a good time and really, um, you know, letting loose, I think is the best way to put it. Comparing the two shows overall, I would obviously, I don't know, it's hard to say which show is better. Uh, WrestleMania 30, I think, is the obvious uh, pick because you had so much stuff happen. Where 34, it was like, it went up, but then it slowly took a big decline. Where WrestleMania 30 was kind of, it was a slow decline and it kept on going up. So, show-wise, WrestleMania 30 was better. Although, Big Dave, I'm still, to this day, he should have won that world title that night. Uh, except Daniel Bryan had to ruin everything. Overall, I think as a person, you know, I'm, I'm not going to go too uh, philosophical on you guys, but as a person, I've really grown in the last four years. So when I even, I was saying this in uh, my rundown video, I would go back and watch my, my old videos and I would just like see things, uh, traits of myself where, and this goes all the way back to 27 and you guys who've grown up uh, watching me, like, it makes me sound so old, but I get messages like that all the time where people are like, man, I used to watch you when I was a kid and like now I finally meet, meet you or you're like talking to me and it's like, man, like I've been doing this for almost 10 years and there is 10 years of like me just growing up on YouTube and I notice these things because when I go back and I'm like, man, like I was, I was annoying that I was like, I was, yeah, I was a kid and I think four years ago, I was a different me. Today is a different me and I, and maybe next month is going to be a different me. Things change all the time. And I was saying this even before the trip, like I knew WrestleMania 34 was going to be a great time for me because me now is not the me from four years ago. So things I would have done then I wouldn't do now and, and vice versa. So uh, that's that's the big thing. I think if uh, obviously if you watch me and uh, if I've been my friend and personally, whatever you've seen, you've seen the evolution of a song battery. But overall, it was uh, it was a great time. And which leads me to the next thing, which I'll probably make a video on, but will it be going to WrestleMania uh, 35? It's uh, really up in the air right now. There's been a few talks here and there, but um, nothing's official. There's obviously early planning going on. But if you guys went to WrestleMania 30 and 34, I would love to know what your thoughts are. So yeah, uh, that's about it. So hope you guys enjoy this video. We'll see you in the next one.